Business Entity Structures You are considering a business, but you do not know what is best. What is the best way to form it. You are at the right place. I will share with you five types of business entities, okay? Number one, sole proprietor. It's easy to form. It has one owner. It is an unlimited liability, which means an owner's personal assets can be seized if the business assets are insufficient to su- satisfy claims against it. In this type of entity, the owner would pay self-employment tax and estimated tax. The business taxes would be filed on a Schedule C on the owner's personal income tax return. Two, partnership. It has two or more owners. It's easy to form, usually with a handshake. The business taxes would be filed on Form 1065 and Form K-1 to partners to file on their personal income tax return. It is considered a flow-through entity, which means only the owners are taxed on revenue, not the entity itself, which prevents them from being double taxed. There are two types of partnership, general and limited. Three, C-Corporation is a limited liability. It can have unlimited owners, shareholders, The business taxes would be filed on Form 1120. This entity is costly to form. The business pays taxes. It has a perpetual business life, meaning perpetual succession, where the company would continue despite death, bankruptcy, insanity, change in membership, or any transfer of stock. In this entity, to transfer ownership is through selling shares. Shareholders receive wages and dividends. Double taxation. A C corporation is taxed at two levels. On corporate profits and if they distribute profits or dividends, then the shares are taxed. Shareholders are taxed. Four, S corporation is a pass-through entity. To make this corporation as a S corporation selection form 2553 must be filed and upon approval by the IRS. The business taxes would be filed on form 1120S and form K1 to shareholders to file on their personal income return. Limited liability company is number five and is set up to protect owners' personal assets from the risk of being seized from creditors if they come after the company. There are many ways it can be formed as a, as a sole member, multi-member partnership, multiple setups such as LLC sole member, LLC partnership, LLC C Corporation and LLC S Corporation. So please go to the description section for free downloads of two books I wrote about starting a business to help you. So thank you for giving me an opportunity to teach you and train you to be successfully wealthy in your personal life and in your businesses. If you like this teaching, then according to Galatians 6 3, it states to give to those who have taught you in the Word of God. Please pray to God if he would like for you to give to me and how much from this teaching. Please know only to be led by God and not by your emotions. See the description section if he leads you. Thank you and have a great day getting wealthy the Lord's way. (laughs) And oh yeah, I want to make a note like number four, the S Corporation. I have had several companies um s corp it was like a llc s corp i got it um formed that way and i've had sole proprietorship and um as soon as i could get it with limited liability i went and got it limited liability my first company wealthy woman die investment inc it was a sole proprietorship and then um i got it um, incorporated 
and it was that was incorporated and then I got my other company's LLC and so if that's how you start um, as an sole proprietor because you know the funds whatever go right ahead starting a sole proprietorship is just saying I have a business um and you name it, and then you can document it so you have a sole proprietor so also then when the money comes in get it LLC yes you want your um debts to be canceled but this is also an important step because as you heard me say about the different things limit and liability so proprietor if something happens to your company you know um some like insurance issue somebody get hurt or something you know they might come and try to sue you as a sole proprietor it's coming for your company and you it's, it can overreach into your personal so being having a limited liability, some type of protection on there is only going to focus on the company and your personal assets will be protected. So once again, um, I have downloads, two books is free. I wrote them many years ago. They're, you know, you can get the most information off of it and then just check um, updated information now from the time I wrote it to um, help you and have a great day.